So here we have the threaded end of the cylinder. We're going to go ahead and um, part off this old part and make the new one. Um, I'm going to probably get rid of that cycle in the, at some point, but while I'm testing I find it helpful to just part off another piece and run the new one. So that's what I've been doing so far. This is the O-ring groove. And this is the thread relief. And then we quickly chamfer the front side. Now we're going to run our one millimeter threads. And there we have it. We um, go. So it looks like we have nice sharp one millimeter threads. I am planning to clean up this inside just a little bit here. That's a little bit sharp. Um, I'll just be using a um, probably a boring bar for that. I don't have my boring bar set up right now. This, like I mentioned here, this will be the O-ring groove and um, this is the end obviously that threads into the top plate. So the nice thing is with this O-ring groove cut in here, you'll be able to easily get the O-ring out, be able to easily um, um, put a new one in. Uh, it also makes assembling them a whole lot easier. Before, the previous machinist thought it would be a good idea to put it on the other part, even though I specified it here, and that ended up working out to be just a lot harder in building process and all that. So, very happy with how this came out. Um, let, me, uh, let me take it out of there. You guys can get a look too. There you have it. And this is in 304 stainless, so this is the final material. And we're probably gonna, we'll obviously be running coolant in a production environment and probably do some upgrades to my carbide inserts just because these ones are the cheap ones. Um, but overall it's looking good. The other side I haven't uh, done yet, but that'll be just simple tapering of the inside a little bit to get uh, to get the your piston started better and rounding off the outside so it's not so sharp. Um, that's it.